Story of Snowbird the Polar Bear. Hi, Lucy. Hi, Molly. Hi, Nelson. Hi, Giggles. Hi, Chickles. Hi, Georgina. Hi, Boris. I would like to tell a story tonight. Ugh. Your stories are boring. It's our turn tonight. Yeah, we know lots of stories. Scary stories. Exciting stories. Funny stories. Surely it's my turn tonight. No, mine. But, but you, you told, told a story, story yesterday. yesterday. That's not fair. Stop it. That's enough. I think tonight it's Boris's turn to tell me a story. What? Me? But I don't know any stories. I'm a bear of few words. You see? He's useless at telling stories. No, he's not. He's just shy. Come on, Boris, tell us a story. Well, uh, I suppose I could tell you the story of Snowbird. Snowbird? That's a funny name. Is he a bear, like you? Well, yes and no. He's a bear, but not a bear like me. Snowbird is a big white polar bear. Snowbird lived just around the corner from the North Pole in a house he built of snow. <sighs> what shall we do today, Snowbird? Uh, we could play a game of dominoes. Good idea. Because he lived on his own, Snowbird often talked to himself. Hey, your turn, Snowbird. I've won again. Better luck next time, eh, Snowbird? Snowbird was also a sculptor. He was very proud of all the snow sculptures he'd made, but sometimes he wished he had a friend to show them to. One morning, Snowbird decided to go fishing. fish for a week. How about you, Snowbird? So have I. Huh? Huh? Oh, wrong hole, sorry. Please don't go. Uh, but you're a polar bear. Uh, uh, You'll eat me. I won't eat you. I'm a fishitarian. You? A fishitarian? It means I only eat fish. Fish for breakfast. Fish for lunch and fish for dinner. Oh, yes, and fish for that tasty snack that keeps you going between mealtimes. You're not a fish. 
Are you? Uh, of course not. I'm a seal. Sydney the seal. My name is Snowbird. Will you be my friend? Okay. Shall we play a game? I've got some dominoes. Yeah. I have the double fish. That's not how seals play dominoes. I'll show you how it's done. Why are you putting all those dominoes in a row, Sydney? You'll see. Ready? Her, her, go! Yippee! Her, her. That was fun. Now, let's play dominoes the snowbird way. Her, her. And so they did. They played dominoes all day. And when the sun set, Sydney had to go home. But he promised to come back the next morning. Bye. Hey, hey. I think I have a friend. Yes, I think you're right. Now, you won't have to talk to yourself anymore. The next morning, Snowbird took Sydney to see his snow sculptures. Wow! These are great! <laughs> You're a real artist! Oh, it's easy, really. I have an idea. Stay here. Hurry up. I can't stay still much longer. Almost finished. Ready! I haven't got a big tummy like that. Yes, you have. <laughs> now let's have some fun. Er, er, er. Yeah. be friends, won't we, Sydney? Always. Promise? Promise. But one cold winter morning... <laughs> the hole had disappeared. It was frozen. Sydney! 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 Snowbird couldn't find Sydney anywhere. And Sydney couldn't find Snowbird anywhere. I wonder if I will ever see Sydney again. He promised we'd always be friends. You're talking to yourself again. Sorry. It was midwinter, and the days were as dark as the nights. Snowbird waited for the sun to rise. He waited, and waited, and waited, and then he fell asleep. Snowbird woke up on a warm spring morning. Whoa! The hole in the ice was back. Only now, it was a lot bigger. Sydney, I thought I would never see you again. But I promised I'll be back. Burr, burr. And I always keep my promises. Oh, Sydney, I'm so happy to see you. I'm happy to see you too. Burr, burr. Look, I've brought some friends to play. 
And that's exactly what they did. Snowbird was never lonely anymore. That was a nice story. Not bad at all for a bare few words. It's made me feel a bit cold, though. <sighs> I think I'd like to go to my warm bed now. Good night, Boris. Good night, Lucy.